Hey guys, okay, so I'm really upset. I was just um, out shopping, doing some errands, taking back some stuff or whatever. Um, I was at Target and I saw a straightener that I needed and I have been wanting a straightener for a really long time, but it's really, it's not expensive, but I don't like to spend a lot of money on I, my hair's naturally straight, but sometimes it gets a little wavy, and I just, it needs to work the kinks out, so I get, sh like, just cheap straighteners, you know, just for that purpose, but I really wanted this Revlon straightener, and it was $15 at Target, it was $14.99, and I was like, well, Walmart might have it for cheaper, because Walmart is supposedly cheaper, so I picked up some things, some things at Target, and I went straight across the street to Walmart, and I go in the Walmart and I am looking around and I see some stuff so I grab some stuff and then I go where the straighteners and such and stuff are and I go over there and it's twenty two ninety five I think and I was like well I'll just tell them at the um counter that it was fifteen dollars at fourteen ninety nine at Target because it was and I wasn't lying and so I go up to the counter and I tell her and I say this straightener was um, $14.99 at Target and the only reason why I came over here to get it was because I thought it would be a little bit cheaper but it wasn't and since they supposedly price match their stuff um, I just thought that she would do it well she said was it in the ad and I was like no it was over there I was just across the street like two seconds ago and she goes well it was it in the Sunday's paper and I said no it was on the shelf at Target and she goes well you can't get it for that you have to get it for $22.95 or whatever it ring, rings up as and I was like that is so stupid because I want this straightener and she goes well you don't have to get it you can go back to Target I'm like why would I go back across the street to Target when I have to go the opposite direction of and I was so mad and so and then I bought something else and it had like a little coupon thing on it for a dollar off, it was, um, I'll show you what I got in a minute, but, and she didn't even put it towards my bill, so I'm going to the Walmart by my house tonight, and I'm going to take the receipt in, and I'm going to complain, because I am so, so upset, I, I've never been, I'm like livid about this right now, she was a mean, she was really mean, well anyway, so, um, well this is the straightener, and it's, um, Revlon, and it's the artistry collection and it looks like this and it's cool because it's like colored and then it, it on the inside um the plate is like sparkly green i don't you can't really see it because my window's in the way but this is what it looks like and it comes with the heat um pad and it comes with a case too and i've been wanting this one for a really long time but they had a different one but it was a different color at target but this one is the one that was at walmart so it kind of looks like the rastafari kind of look going on sort of but so yeah that's kind of cool but I'm still upset and then um so this is I, I needed mouthwash and I don't really use my I have sensitive teeth so I use like kids mouthwash um but I got the Listerine Smart Rinse Barbie wash um and so that's what it looks like and it had this coupon on it save a dollar and I literally it was like folded like this okay so it was on the bottle like that and it said save a dollar just like that okay I went up to the cash register and I had it open like that so she would see it and I was just so pissed I didn't even notice that she didn't do it because I was mad about my straightener I should have went to the self checkout like I was going to and just do my own thing but I was so upset so I got that and then I'm so excited, but I just, I know I got beets for Christmas, um, but I, I don't like to take them to school just because I'm scared they're going to get stolen, so I get cheapy earbuds, so I bought Hello Kitty ones, and they were only $7. Okay, and another thing that made me mad, they were $7, the sign said $7, but the, um, the receipt says seven forty four. dollars so I'm taking those back tonight, and I'm going to tell them, and then the last thing I got was, um, London Soho, New York, it's a five-piece picture perfect face set, and I'm so excited, they're brand new brushes, because I was using, um, Eco Tools, yeah, I really like them, but that's all I've really used, um, but it comes in this pouch, it, um, comes with a highlighter brush, a foundation brush, and an all-over eyeshadow brush, and a smudge brush, 
um, and it tells you like how to use it on each one, even though I don't really need that. And it comes with a um, a brush bag too. So it comes with this little, and I needed a new brush bag. And um, it was eleven ninety five, but I mean that's not too bad because if you would go to let's say, um, and they're really soft. They're better than my Eco Tools. They're like really soft. Um, but if you go to like Walgreens or even Target, because no one else price matches, I guess. Uh, they'd probably be probably three or four dollars more than Walmart and um, the individual brushes were like three dollars each and so each one there's four brushes so each one would have been three dollars so that would have been pointless to me for me to get a separate one even though I don't really need the eyeshadow brush but the smudge brush is good and so yeah those are that's what I got at Walmart and um I just ran in to get dog food at Target, so I'm not going to show you that because that would be weird. Um, but yeah, I'm just really upset about this whole Walmart situation, and I'm going to go. That's why I never go to the one, because um, see, where I live, we have Walmarts, like Walgreens, on every corner. And I there's one literally three blocks up from my house, and I wasn't over that way today because I went to the mall, and the mall was over by the other Walmart, so I went to that Walmart just because, um, it was closer, so I didn't have to, like, backtrack all the way, and, yeah, it wasn't worth it. I should have went to my Walmart, but, um, also in this brush kit, it comes with, uh, beauty tips on how to use the brushes, so that's kind of cool, um, if you don't really know how to do that. Um, it tells you how to, like, create a smoky eye look and how to make your eye, um, eyeshadow last all day. And, yeah. So, that's about it. I'm super excited to start using everything, um, including my strainer, even though I'm really upset about it. But, yeah. Okay, well, um, I will let you know how I like these brushes. But this is what they look like. Um, this is the smudge brush. That's what it looks like. And then this is the foundation brush. See, it's flat. And then this is the blush brush. Blush brush. Say that five times fast. And then this is the eyeshadow. Or, no. Yes. This is the eyeshadow, right? Yeah, that's the smudge one. This is the eyeshadow one. It's a little bit different. But yeah, so that's my story on how I hate Walmart. And what I bought, even though I shouldn't have supported them. Okay, well, I'm going to go. So, bye!